So I just wanted to say that, you know, my friends in the labor and, and you know, I've, I've voted for many of these CEQA exemptions, but I just want to say this is the, the Environmental Quality uh, Committee. And I love this committee. And I, and I actually am going to say something that most people wouldn't. I like CEQA. I think CEQA was designed for really good purposes and California was way ahead of the curve. Now, do I like CEQA when it was designed? Yes. Do I like CEQA where it's at today? No. CEQA was used for all kinds of opportunities for business on business, labor, PLA. I mean, it's amazing how the environment gets thrown away when you get a labor agreement. Or one company has their gravel pit and they are suing another one on CEQA because they don't want competition next door. So. I know the frustrations of CEQA. I know the, the reason that the law is passed. The law was passed to say if you cannot mitigate, then you can't mitigate it. If you can mitigate it, you move on. And unfortunately, that's not where we're at today because attorneys and many people use it as a tool. So I sympathize with the fact of where you're stuck at in your community. But I also will say this, that this is different than a one-off arena or a SoFi Stadium. This is talking about a geograph area, geographical area that is like, it's not just one building, it's not just a stadium. This is, could possibly change a community. And I have, have somebody who is from the North State and have, has had, um, you know, prob the, the San Francisco is, is unique in itself. It has a city county government which just doesn't exist anywhere in California except for San, the, San Francisco County and city. And quite frankly, a lot of their policies dribble out to our areas that I don't like. And I don't like those policies, but they dribble out because they're, it's a powerhouse. It's a worldwide place. I, lo I loved, used to love to go there. I don't go there anymore. I have not been there in 12 years, I think. I don't plan on going because I don't feel safe. But that's another story. But at the end of the day, we have a city that's failing, and we have a tax base that's not coming in, and it's, it's in disrepair, and there's, in there, and there's a huge, lot of huge problems, and not only just for that city, but for out California. So... I'm not going to be able to support your bill today because I think it's too broad, number one. And I think we really need to have a conversation about CEQA uh, uh, for the all of California because for the things I stated earlier. The fact that it's used as a tool to stop or mitigate or get a, get a project labor agreement or whatever. In this case, it's lead, I'm beating my chair up because I, I respect him for his environmental courage. But I'm like, hey, how can you can support this? And he's like, well, it's lead certified. Well, I'm beating up on him. So I'm, he's taking the heat today from not only both sides of the aisle, but at the end of the day, I think this is overreaching. It's too far. I think some of the things that the community brought up, do I always agree with them? No, but I can't support it. Um, we need to take a look at CEQA uh, throughout the state because California, I just want to close with this. We are losing businesses and we are losing our economic growth. We are not going to be the fourth largest economy very long. In fact, I think we're probably, once we tally it up, we're going to be way less than that. People are leaving California, including myself. I'm looking at places outside of California. I can't afford to run a business for 93 years here. It's, my margins are thin, and people are shipping product in here. It's happening with retail space. It's happening with small businesses, and we just keep piling on. And so for those reasons, I can't support this bill. Unfortunately, even though I know the senator is working hard to try to save his community, but we need to do something statewide to reduce to revitalize. If it can't be mitigated, then it can't be mitigated, but if it can, we should be able to go do growth. Not use CEQA for a tool to, you know, leverage, and that's what's happening, and unfortunately, nobody wants to tackle the big problem. 